one of the required aspects in the paper 5 analysis and evaluation for 9702 physics syllabus on question 1 is to do the additional detail. Now, if you state that you're going to be using a CRO or you're going to be using a data logger or you're going to be using light gates, additional detail to that will also help you to score some marks. So in that regard, this video is going to look at how you can incorporate such ideas and how it is going to help you. Please remember to subscribe to the Physics Tips for Cambridge Students YouTube channel and like, share, as well as to comment. Without much further ado, let's get started. We're going to look at light gates for the first time. Now, light gates is shown in the picture. You see that this is a trolley that's going to go through a distance D. The time I'll start counting here when it passes through light gate uh, one and then stops counting when passing through light gate two. And then it's going to calculate the speed by finding the time between these two and then saying distance right by the time. So that's one way of doing things. The setup in the laboratory is going to be like this where you can see the light gates right here, and then you can see another light gate there, and then the data logger in between for the, and the timer there. Now, when finding the instantaneous speed, you, you just have one light gate. So the light gate is going to have an interrupt card over there. So the time that's going to be taken for the light gate to, to interact with this whole distance here is going to be given by the distance d on the interrupt card varied by the time taken is going to uh, when passing through the so this end here is going to pass through first on the light gate then this end here passes the time t later so you find the instantaneous speed by saying v is equal to distance over time so this is the setup where you just have one light gate and then you have the timer then finding the acceleration so in this case here, you'd need a double interrupt card. So in the double interrupt card, you find that it has this depression over there, right? So it's going to measure the speed here, then measure the speed there. So this is going to be V1, this is going to be V2. Now, if it's accelerating, it's going to, to find the difference between V2 and V1, and then divide by the time taken between the two. So acceleration will be V2 minus V1 over the time. So in case you need to incorporate something, light gates that calculate the acceleration, this is the way you're going to do. So you're going to have a runway, which it is slow, right? And then you have the acceleration uh, found that way. So I hope this has been very useful. Now we're going to move on to talk about the CRO itself. Now the cathode ray oscilloscope is consisting of horizontal and the vertical controls. So the horizontal control is the time base, and then the vertical control would be the voltage gain. So the Y gain is the voltage control, and then the time base is the horizontal. So when you find a, a waveform like this here, you see that going up, that's the voltage, and then going horizontal, would be the time base. So the setting seconds per division, you've got to say set the time base at so many seconds per division. And then when you've done that, you then say time base setting times the number of, of boxes and that represent the period would then show you the time period. And then one over T would then give you the frequency. Similarly, on the Y axis, we have the voltage gain, volts per centimeter, multiply by the number of centimeters. So just mentioning it under the additional detail would make you score some marks. Uh, this video is going to be kept as short as possible. Make sure that uh, these things will help you. So consider subscribing to the channel and uh, I'm signing out.